Hey travel lovers, welcome to Wanderlust for Life here on YouTube, the channel that shows you European gems through food and memorable experiences. I'm Jessica, behind the camera is Sean, and today we're gonna show you five street foods that you definitely wanna try when you're in Amsterdam. So let's dig in. As always, I am so excited to take you around Amsterdam and show you my city through food. But before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you know whenever we post a video. But now, let's get to the food. Our first stop is an Amsterdam institution that's been around for about 80 years and it's Fabo. I'm so excited to take you here because it's basically the ultimate street food. It's a wall that's a vending machine. <laughs> there are spots over the entire city and we're gonna go in and choose something to snack on. We got the croquette because that is what they are most famous for. You can still order at the counter even if there is nothing in the wall, so that's super good to know. Um, but the croquette just has this kind of ragu inside with some meat. I got the beef one. Give it a try. It's nice and crunchy and hard. So think of it as like a really thick, meaty, gravy type thing. It's just, I mean, it's the perfect kind of street food because you just walk and grab it and go. Our next street food is herring. We could not do a street food video and not do herring. The Dutch do it so well. They've been eating it for about a thousand years and people say it's raw. It's kind of raw. It's soused, which means it has a mild preserving liquid um, that it's put into. We are here on Koningsplein and this shop actually happens to be the same shop that Anthony Bourdain went to on his show, The Layover. And we're a big fan, so we figured we would stop here. Um, so you normally find herring in Amsterdam chopped up, but you may also get it full with the tail and then drop it in your mouth. <laughs> but it's always served with onions and pickles. It is actually really delicious. Time to dig in. <laughs> it's not even really fishy. It's just really tender and my, I really love it with the onions and the pickles. You can also get it on bread and it's just a herring brooja. But I just like it like this. So definitely when you're in Amsterdam, there's probably a herring place in most parts of the city where you're gonna be. So just pop in and grab some fish. My favorite kind of street food is fries. And here in Amsterdam, they have Flemish fries, which was created in Belgium in the Flanders region. And that means they are double fried, which makes it super crispy on the outside and fluffy on the inside. And traditionally, the favorite here is or Orlach fries, which is translates to war fries. And it's satay, mayo, and onion. And if I'm completely honest, I've never had this flavor before. I have converted from ketchup as an American to mayo, but I'm giving it a try today for you guys. Mmm, there are so many flavors going on. Now satay, if you don't know, is kind of a peanut buttery sauce, and it's like the slightest bit spicy. But if I can handle it, I think anybody can. Another one of my favorites is the stroop waffle, which literally translates into syrup waffle. Uh, Americans might see it as more of a cookie, but basically it's one waffle sliced in half with syrup in the middle. I got honey syrup on the inside and Sean got coffee syrup. It was created in the 19th century in Gouda, which is the same place that the Gouda cheese, which Americans call Gouda, was created. So this is from very nearby and it has a syrupy inside and we're gonna crack into it. Okay, so super fresh ones are tend to be floppy, but this one was made a little while ago, so it's nice and firm. But if you do get a fresh floppy one, just make sure you hold it flat so that you don't get the syrup everywhere. But this one's nice and set. It's sweet, but not too sweet. It's very crunchy. Just a really good like flavor, very buttery. I'd say, especially this one, very buttery. 
and we're home. The Dutch weather does not always cooperate, but that's okay because obviously we can just eat here. And if you haven't seen our home tour, I'll leave a link up here for you. But this fifth food we got from our local shop here in Amsterdam Nord, and it is Doner. It's the perfect grab and go food. There's lots of variety that you can have with it. There are shops over the entire city, no matter what neighborhood you're in. And I'll leave a list of the best ones down below for you. We got a chicken in a wrap, that's what this is. And we also got lamb in a broja style, which is a sandwich style. So you don't have to stop sightseeing, you just grab it, and keep walking because walking is the best way to see the city. Okay, the outro is already filmed, so I'm gonna send it back over to Center City Jessica. I hope that gives you some insight into the street food here in Amsterdam. Which one of these foods do you want to try the most? Let us know down below. And thank you so, so, so much for watching. Please go ahead and like this video, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will leave a playlist next to me so that you can watch all of our Amsterdam food videos and you can binge on it before you visit. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time, guys. Bye.